Welcome Protégé. In the previous tutorial you learned how to create matrices. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to perform matrix operations such as addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Before we get into that I first want to show you how to use the random number generator. And the function in MATLAB to do this is called rand. And if you put in one argument this will give you a 2x2 two two matrix of uniformly distributed numbers between 0 and 1. If we have two arguments, this will return a 1x5 row, row vector also between 0 and 1. To create a matrix of integers, we use a function called randi. The first argument is your range, and I'm going to do a bracket, and we'll have a range from 1 to 5, and the next two arguments will be your matrix dimension. So I'll just do a 4 by 5 matrix, close that parentheses, hit enter, and it now creates a matrix of integers from 1 to 5 and it's a 4 by 5 matrix and this is quite useful because if you're like me I'm not very good at making up numbers for a matrix because I always try to optimize it and also if you need a large matrix say 100 by 200 that would be very tedious and time-consuming to put all those numbers in your matrix so this is a quick and easy way to to do that. Go ahead and clear the screen. Next we'll get into the matrix operations. So like I mentioned in, in the introduction, we'll go over mul multiplication, addition, subtraction, raising matrices to powers. You can't divide two matrices, but what you can do is take the inverse of a matrix and then multiply it to the other matrix but this isn't covered in this tutorial. I'm going to create a small matrix first. So I created a 2x3 matrix, a 3x2 matrix, and a, another 2x3 matrix. First I'm going to go over multiplication. And from linear algebra, you should know that the inner dimensions must match. For example, this is a 2 by 3, so to multiply that by another matrix, the number of rows of the matrix you're multiplying it by has to be 3. So that's why I created this 3 by 2 matrix. If I tried to multiply it by this 2 by 3 matrix, you'll get an error saying that the inner matrix dimensions must agree. So you can simply type in A times B. And for linear algebra, you know that you multiply each row element by the other matrix column element. You can also do what's called element-wise multiplication, but for this the matrix dimensions must be the same. To do element-wise, you do A dot star B, but if you tried to do it with A and B, you would get an error because the matrix dimensions have to agree. I'm going to multiply A and C by doing this element-wise multiplication. And what this does, it multiplies the elements in the same position of both matrices. So for example, this element will, will be multiplied by this element. Another example, this element will be multiplied by this element. And that's where we get 10 times 1 and 2 times 20, which is 10 and 40 respectively. You can also multiply the matrix by a scalar. And I'm going to multiply A by 2. And this simply multiplies each element 
of your matrix by two as you can see here and if we do the element wise multiplication that will yield the same result and I'll show you that real quick as you can see here next I'll show you addition and subtraction and for this the dimensions of the matrices must match the dimensions of A and C match so I'm going to add those I'm just going to print A and C on the screen so you can see see them easily. I don't have to scroll back up. And again, it will take the elements of the same position in both matrices and add them together. For example, it will take this element and add it to this element of C. It will take this element of A and add it to this element of C. And we get 11 and 22 respectively. And you ask yourself, can I do element-wise addition? For this example, the answer is no, because you'll get an unexpected MATLAB error. Subtraction is the same thing. The matrix dimensions must agree. So I'm going to do A minus C. And again, you cannot do element-wise subtraction for this essentially that's what it does when you do just a minus C so there's no need to have this dot minus and dot addition here next I'll show you how to raise the matrix to a power I'll print out a so we can view it better and I'm just going to square this matrix and notice that we get an error here because we have to do element wise for this if we try to square it it will do A times A, but since A and A are the same dimensions, we can't do multiplication, which is why we have to do the element-wise power. So if we do A dot caret squared, it will square each element of A. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.